All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Haven't played Animal Crossing in several weeks, and apparently there are many hijinks afoot. No, new game mechanics, new islanders, all kinds of stuff going on, so I'm excited to have a two-hour relaxing interactive stream with all of you here tonight. I just started recording for YouTube, which is why I just did an intro, if you're not aware. Okay, so let's see what's going on, guys. Good evening, everyone. Right now, I'm Paul Pratt, 7.24 p.m. on Sunday, July 5th. For some time now, Nook Inc. has been exploring and studying the water surrounding our island. I'm pleased to announce that based on their findings, the ocean's been deemed safe for swimming. What's more, the water itself is clear and clean, which is the perfect conditions for underwater diving. For everyone's safety, we ask that you please use the proper swimwear if you plan to enter the water. You can purchase a wetsuit at either the shop or Nook Shopping. Sounds like I need to go buy a wetsuit, huh? I can't wait to see folks out there diving, playing, splashing, the appropriate amount, of course. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Alright, something new! <clears throat> Alright, I'm put Oh, I got this stupid sleeping mask on my face. Hold on a second. So we gotta put on the earbuds combo because the vest goal has not been hit, so we take the vest off as usual. And I want to take this off my eyeballs. There we go. Looks like our mailbox is like bursting. What's going on here? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh sh So, you know, if anything, this shows how long it's been since I played. Because we've got one, two, three, and a fourth Happy Home Academy. So it's been about a month since I played. Damn. Alright, let's take a look here. Rank of A. Rank of A. Rank of A. You ever seen a photo of me when I was younger? Me and all my friends in pleather jackets with tons of spikes and studs. All black except our hair, which was neon. Look, I didn't invent the style. Cringing bitty bad, pretty bad cherry. I don't know if you want to publicly admit that kind of stuff. You probably want to, like, hide that, that fact. Cody, is, you sent me a present. He says, I'm wiping down my workout gear. I suddenly got the urge to lift my couch. I call it couch benching. Get it? But long story short, I found this under the couch. Want it? Well, it's yours now. I guess we're going to see what it is. Apparently got a few things here. Nintendo, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Of course, that was my wife that did that, not me. Um, I eat shit. Tipped a dollar thirty. I don't eat shit. The guy's name is I eat shit. He tipped a dollar thirty. He says, I remember you used to do a, a gaming calendar on my vlogging channel. Why did I stop doing it? Because I don't have a gaming calendar. I didn't buy one this year. I said, you know what? There's no real reason for me to have this giant gaming calendar on the wall anymore. What I'll just do is play it by ear. I have I have it written down on paper if I ever need to reference it. Um, and in reality, I don't really think I need it. Honestly, I don't think I need that kind of calendar anymore. So what I do is every once in a while, I'll do a special where I'll go through the gaming schedule update or something like that. Like right now, we already knew pretty much all the games that were going to happen between now and say the end of July. So maybe what I'll do is the end of July, I'll sit down in one of my vlogging videos. For example, if I hit the 200 vest streak, maybe we'll do a segment on the 200 vest streak where we go through the gaming calendar for the rest of the year and I review all the games that I'm very interested in playing. People can ask questions about them on the fly and stuff like that. Right? So probably I'll just wait a little bit longer, but probably maybe end of July once we got into new releases this month and then we need to see what else is for the rest of the year. That's the time when I'll sit down and I'll do it as a part of an event like that or something. Okay, but I don't have a gaming calendar anymore, so there's nothing to record to do that vlog anymore. All right, mom, the Chicadas cry in the morning light, awakening the world with this their cacophonous symphony. Your mother cries out as well, lamenting her lack of sleep. Less sleep, more snuggles, mom. Uh, the funny part about that is the Chicadas are in Connecticut, where my mother is. They're really fucking loud too, because I used to put up with them all the time in the spring. They're loud as fuck as they go. They're really annoying. My mom wouldn't write poetry like that, though. Nook Shop. Accept our sincere thanks for your continued patience in Nook Shopping. We now have some wonderful new seasonal items in stock. I'm going to assume it's the wetsuit. All right, Happy Home Academy. Of course, I, my rankings in Happy Home Academy haven't changed simply because I haven't done anything in my house. I haven't played the game, right? So there you go. All right, Cody, send me another present. You getting it done, Touchdown? Of course you are. You inspired me to get it done, too. I'm way more root for being your friend. I run more laughs, bench more weight, do more reps. Long story short, I gotta give you a gift to say thanks. I wonder if any of the villagers will be like, we haven't seen you in like a month. Because I don't know if my, my wife switched over to my account or not during the last month to do stuff. If you remember, I'm still trying to get those summer shells. If I get enough, I can make the full-on 
um, the full-on bathroom that looks like underwater. That's what I'm going for. So I wonder if I'll find more summer shells tonight. Alright, anyway. Let's open these presents. A weight bench. Oh, gee, thanks, Cody. A snorkel mask. That could be pretty cool if I'm going to be going underwater. Mom's plushie. What on earth? And a skull door plate. Well, I don't really want the skull door plate. In fact, I had a skull door plate, and I think I gave it away at one point. So, well, let's get this crap out of here for now. Hold on. Oh, wait. Here we go. So, I will put away the weight bench. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. No, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put it away. Put the weight bench away. Let's put... What, what does Mom's plushie look like? What the... It's a little dog. It's cute. It's cute, but I wonder if I have anywhere to put it. I wish I could put it, like, on the table here. Oh, okay. <laughs> there. I tossed it on the table. That worked. Okay. And let's get... Let's put the school door plate away. I definitely don't want that right now. I'm going to keep the snorkel, and here's why. If I buy the wetsuit... And I'm gonna go swimming, I'll actually wear the snorkel so it'll look cool like I'm actually snorkeling. Right? That's actually kinda convenient that I just got that. Very good. Lobster Volvo tipped another dollar thirty and says, uh, resending good buddy. Enjoy the new diving mechanic. I'll be watching and playing uh Animal Crossing myself. Alright, sounds good. I'll give it a look later. I'll give your email a look later. Oh my goodness. Oh shit. Okay, time to wake up. All right, let's see what the hell's going on in this island. I haven't been here in a while. I want to see what the hell's going on. What I eat tonight? Um, uh, oh, uh, tuna casserole. My wife made tuna casserole for the first time in like a month. I love her tuna casserole. It was really good. Sadly, she said she's tired of it, and she wants to try some di something different instead of tuna casserole again. So I said, that's fine with me. Uh, you know, you want to try something new, you're a good cook. So, you know, whatever you recipe you come up with, I'm willing to try. Sam said tip $2 to remember to walk slow, don't run. Most of the new bugs are on the trees. Oh, really? So there's a, a bunch of new bugs that are sitting on the trees? I didn't know that. I'll have to keep my eyes open. All right. All right, Abel Sisters, I haven't been here in a bit. Let's see what new design I get. I have zero bells, by the way. Oh, Phil, I'm hoping you come by today. I'm in a new pattern fabric for you to try on your custom furniture. Here you go. Thank you, Samson, for that $2 tip, by the way. Alright, so we got a new pattern. That's cool. Oh, do I have a... Uh... Oh, get away from me. <laughs> Chase it. I wonder if I have the, uh, the net so I can catch these new bugs. I don't even know if I have the net on it. Right? I do have it. Okay. Oh, shit. Is that a new one? That looks new. Oh, you... Whoa. I wasn't even close yet. Damn, I got freaking owned right there. I wasn't even close yet, and that thing flew away. Uh, well, that's very disheartening. Now I won't see another bug for the whole night. Watch. So I could jump in this water once I buy a wetsuit. The problem is I have no money. Last time around, if you remember, when I played like a month ago, I put all my money into building the staircase. And I haven't gone back, so... Yeah, I need to basically, you know, do probably some fishing. Would be appropriate. Okay. What the hell's that? There's so many new. Who's this? Peaches. I want to teach you one of my reactions. Okay, is this a, a, a horse or a donkey or a mule? I can't tell what the peaches is. How are you? Warm enough for you? Please, works as well as a simple greeting. Try it. I want the please reaction. I'm pleased with myself right now. What's up? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Guess what cat's been up to? I heard they shook a wasp nest loose from a tree and it got swarmed. Well, that's no good. I bet it still stings. So, yeah, I... Peaches? 
with crosses for eyes. What's the latest? I'm trying to get to know the community better. That's why I've been going around asking everyone questions lately. I've read that the right questions can reveal someone's personality. With that in mind, what about sports? Are you into any? Watching or playing, I mean. Do you have a favorite? Honestly? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm definitely not into sports now. You know, when I was younger, I was into fo American football and baseball. Um... Out of all the sports I've ever played, I was actually good at badminton. I know that sounds weird. I was actually really good at this because my dad and I used to play it in, in our driveway. Um, and we played it, and then our friend, my friends would come over and we'd play it. Like, I played it against many different people badminton. I got really good at it. And uh, <laughs> then I just stopped playing it all together. But out of all these, it would be badminton. I'm going to say badminton. Badminton is fun to play on a beach, even though I'm not much good at it. It's fun to watch, too, although it's not an easy sport to find on TV. Alright, now what are the chances my wife is going to think that I answered badminton? Right? I told her I used to play badminton with my dad. But I don't know if she'll actually think about answering that or not. Okay. Anyway. Oh, look at this. Someone's currently moving in. Wait a minute. Didn't this used to be Cherry's house? Cherry moved off the island? B. Alright, I don't know who B is. Apparently, Cherry is moving off the island. She's out of here. And we got a newcomer named B moving in. Isn't this the, the pig, Agnes? Yes. Phil, what's up? I feel like I haven't had any FaceTime with you lately. I didn't scare you or anything, right? I know I can be a bit, a bit mu much, Snuffle. No, you didn't scare me. I haven't been playing. Okay. What's up, Snuffle? Let's chat. Why am I? My name is Snuffle now? Have you seen your Happy Home Academy results? Mine were about what you'd expect. It's really weird having your style picked apart. Huh. Well, interesting that B is moving in. Someone named B. Right? Um. No one's home here for me to check out their houses. I wonder. Dude, I wonder, like, did everyone move out? Like, oh shit. There you go. I wonder if he's still on the island or who's not. Sparring Kick says B will be a dog. Oh, really? Well, Candy's still on the island. Long time no chats, Phil. I think we've both been so busy we forget to talk to each other. Hey, it's super great to see you. What do you need? I want to chat. Do you know that when it comes to movies, Cat loves action? Oh, uh, she's told me she really likes action movies. Yeah, she's told me that. Seems that way. You knew? That makes sense. You and Cat are super close. Alright, um... An anonymous, someone named Anonymous Vane sent me a already asking what, why would I play Code Vane. I've only answered the question about 40,000 times. I'm not wasting time talking about it again. Go back to one of the other 27 times I answered this previously uh, and stop bothering me. Thanks for the dollar tip. Urban G Fan Chew says, Dang, so you did badminton, bodybuilding, pro street fighter, and now you're a successful streamer. How do you do it? You're so multi-talented. That's right. Also, I wrestled wild bears. And once, I, I uh, actually punched the moon. But you guys didn't hear about those yet. Okay. So Candy's still here. Uh, well, look at this. That's pretty cool. Glowing ice cream cone. <laughs> of course, Agnes is here. My big problem tonight is I need a wetsuit and I have zero money. I have none. I'm going to have to walk around like fishing and doing random things. Um, in order to try to make money, because pff, I'm kind of boned. All right, I was supposed to talk to people at the Nook Miles. Okay. What is that? Critterpedia? Your app's been updated additional information about sea creatures you captured. So, ah! Look at that. These are the, the new creatures that are available by diving in the water. Oh, I like that. I like it. Alright, what's this? Get miles. A thousand bonus miles. Very nice. Okay, so far as... Oh, who the hell is this? Oh, 
approached slowly. Sandy! Oh, hello, great to meet you. It's Phil, right? Oh, my name's Sandy. I decided to move here after I was invited to by Cat. I'm excited to be living here now with you, Speedy. Dude, we have so many new villagers. I wonder who's actually left to make room for the new villagers. It's crazy how many new ones we've got. What's on your mind, Speedy? Let's chat. If you take good care of them, flowers are working with blooms. They can't talk to us in words, but I feel like our hearts can com commune with each other. Huh. Alright. Here's Cody. Hold on a second. Let me get what's behind him. Cody, don't walk off! Oh, he sat down again. Plop down. Uh, yeah. Touchdown! Nice of you to stop by. How you been? You haven't been dodging me, right? Not that you could. I may be swole, but I'm not slow. Bam! What the hell? He's swole, but not slow. Alright. Oh, shit. That's a new bug. Dude, there's all these new bugs. Look at this one. Swipe. What's this one? It's, yes, I call it Earth Boring Dung Beetle. It's not boring at all. Earth Boring Dung Beetle. <laughs> okay, then. They're getting pretty complex with their names. This is one. Okay, this one's already in the museum. Because remember, Kat's been playing all along. Chances are she probably caught a lot of the new things. So she already caught that one. The Earth Boring Dung Beetle. Hey there, bases. They're enjoying the stream so far. That's cool. Thanks for letting me know. So this is Cat's house, right? Let's see. What has she done with her home recently? I'm not visiting anyone's island tonight. Yeah, looks like Cherry's gone, uh, Derek. Looks like she's moved on. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to ask my wife. Well, it looks like it's gotten a little bit more complex. Is it... There's the hamster in the wheel. There's actually a pet bird. Look at this. Tweet, 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 tweet. It's tweeting. How oh, nice. Tweeting bird. Oh, we got... Okay, well... The kitchen's the same. Yeah. You know what? I think maybe that thing hanging on the upper right is new. The pot rack or whatever. But everything else here is pretty much the same. Okay. Going on the side. Remember, I'm looking for blue shells to make the underwater bathroom, which I still haven't been able to do. All right, this looks exactly the same as the last time I checked it out. So, not many improvements to her home. Okay. I'm almost all out of water again. I keep forgetting to fill, refill my water for the second stream. Damn it. Thing is, this this thermos is so good. The water I put in this morning, it's that water's still cold. No lie, like I put that water in their tent this morning. It's now almost eight at night, and the water is still cold. It's a pre pretty damn good thermos. Oh, nice! Yes, I think I need like two or three more of those blue shells to make the underwater bathroom. So I already got a score. Only these fossils will sell for a bit. Remember, I'm trying to buy the wetsuit. How much water do I drink every day? Well, usually I drink a whole meal water, which is one... I think this is like 16 ounces, so one of those. Then I drink a whole one of these. Um, and I definitely have some water outside of the streams, too. And for dinner, I have a full big glass of cherry juice. Not that that's water, but it's still hydration. So I drink a good amount every day. I wonder, I wonder who's still with us. We have so many people who left. I wonder who the heck is still with us on the island. You know what? It's a surefire way to find out. If I can remember. Well, okay, that's Olivia. That's Agnes. Of course, that's my wife. We got Cody. This is the newcomer, Peaches. We've got Candy. We've got Sandy the ostrich. Who is this? Bianca. We've got a new villager named Bianca. I can't even tell what that is. Is that like a... Maybe like a leopard or something? And Bianca apparently lives up here on the stairwell. Right? 
but we still got Prince and we still got Pecan. So we still got one, two, three. We got four of, of the older Islanders. Olivia's kind of half new. And then, Agnes, wow, so we did we did a big rotation, right? Who left? Well, Chops is gone. Chops is gone. Cherry is gone. Who else is gone? Melba's gone. Yeah, that's right. Melba's gone. Wow. So quite a few villagers have moved on, but we got some really, uh, really good ones, right? Some really good, cool new ones. Uh, I like that they're unique. Like, we never had a, a horse type before. Whatever Bianca is, that's super unique. I can't even tell what, what animal she is. Sandy and Ostrich. We had a robot ostrich. Now we got a real one. <laughs> a, real, a real living one. A few people are saying Bianca's a pretty cool villager. Um, Spawn Killer took me $1.30 and said, I think you just needed one shell. You got enough. Really? Was it only just one? I thought it was two. Well, maybe I will have enough. We'll have to see if I can craft that later on on the stream. Because I definitely want to craft that bathroom. If we can later on the stream, then I can try to start to build my bathroom. Okay. Oh. All right. Good stuff. I wonder if we'll run into any of these villagers. So Bianca, I guess, is like way up here in a higher area. Crap. Get in. I went the wrong way. There's a stairwell over here, I think. Remember, I put all the money into building the stairwell, so you gotta think it's, like, done by now, right? Oh, here it is. Cool. You walk right up to the second floor. Now, that's really nice. I guess I gotta keep my eyes peeled for these new bugs. So, here's the new house. That's supposed to be Bianca's house. I'll have to introduce myself, but I just wanna see... Any bugs on any of these trees? No. No, not that I see. I got another fossil. Buffalo Wings of Redemption just tipped me a dollar. Thank you to Buffalo Wings of Redemption for the dollar tip. I appreciate that. So far, this is quite an interesting stream. There's so much that's changed. New bugs. Uh, new villagers. Soon I'll uh, see if I can... Oh, shit. I didn't see it at all. Ugh. I'll see if I can raise some money, probably via fishing, in order to buy the wetsuit and do some of the, the diving you can do now. So, what the? Oh, I wasn't even near that one. Okay, here we are. This must be Bianca's. Own. Whoa, this looks good. Come on, give me some freaking grilling, dude. Look at that. Some kebabs. Some skewers on there. Look really good. Okay. Bianca is a tiger? Oh, a tiger. That does not look like a tiger. His tigers don't have spots. <laughs> tigers don't have spots. She's definitely not a tiger. Okay. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen me before? Huh, of course you haven't. I'm Bianca. Wow, that's like the name of a rock star. Solid like a rock, gl glowing like a star. Anywho, I was camping on this island when Kat invited me to move here. Now that I'm here, I want to get to know everyone and be best friends with all of you, Glimmer. Glimmer? By the way, it's funny that she has a floor that's leopard print and she's leopard print. <laughs> Matches. Oh my gosh, I have such good taste. I'm a DIY trendsetter, don't you think so, Phil? What are you making? Well, I'm making a purple hyacinth crown. I heard the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglos in Love. It's about trains and love. Well, that's not important. It doesn't matter if Maglos and Mike took their relationship off the rails. Because I'm building a thing. Hey, Phil, do you want to know how to make a purple hyacinth crown? I guess so. I'll be the first pop star slash fashion designer slash DIY guru. I'll write down all my recipes. Here you go. All right. Good. Huh. Derek says that he misses Melba and Cherry the most. Maybe they went to Pops Island. Yeah, I remember Melba and Cherry were two of the very first Islanders that we had on our Paw Print Island here way back, what was it, in March when I first started playing? I just finished my water, so I'm going to have to get more. But, uh, but yeah, you know, that it's been, that was a long time ago, and now they're gone. They've been here for quite a long time. Then again, we don't know at what point in the last month that I haven't been playing that they actually left, so. Is she a leopard or a jaguar? I don't know. I can't tell. Does she have anything to talk about? Do you need something? Glimmer shows me Glimmer. I want to chat. This is my iron kitchenette tray fabuloso. I'm kind of really into cooking things lately. Food mostly. I saw that a stack of pancakes the other day. Whipped cream, fruit syrup, peanut butter, the works. What? Whipped cream, yes. Fruit, yes. Syrup, yes. Peanut butter. Mm, no, no. Bonus, almost half of them weren't burnt too badly. Wow. 
Half of them. <laughs> yeah, she got a really nice kitchen there with the w wood and metal. That's pretty nice, pretty mod, as they say. All right, pretty cool. New villager. All right, fake Derek. Have a good night. Thanks for listening to Derek tonight. <laughs> All right, well. Well, that was pretty interesting. Like I said, now I think I should do is really try to either catch some bugs or fish and try to make some money. Because I need money to buy the wetsuit so I can do the new diving mechanic. I have no money right now at all. Because I spent all my money building that staircase last time I played. Okay. So we've met many new uh, islanders. It is pretty sad to say goodbye to islanders. Like, this, Cherry was there from the start. Melba was there from pretty much the start. It is definitely... Oh, here's another blue shell. Dude, I think I have enough to craft now. I'm pretty excited about that. Um... It is sad to see them go. At the same time, having the same people on the island constantly probably will get pretty boring too. And I bet what happened was my wife probably got bored of the same exact people. So she invited new islanders. That's cool. I'm pleased with the new islanders so far. They're pretty neat. Ah. You gotta be kidding me. An anchovy. A tiny little anchovy. Alexander Rossi cheered. He said, do you think you're too much of a nice guy when it comes to unbans? I see you banning and unbanned certain people like five plus times. Yeah, you know, I, I generally try to be nice. And if someone asks for an unban and is being nice about it, I'll usually do it. And there's some people who sadly, they, they don't ever learn yet. They get people to campaign for them to come back. And some of them, I never wanted them to come back. But people kind of convinced me, like, oh, no, I really don't vouch for them. And then they just, they break the rules over and over again. So, it is what it is. I'm a sucker. What can I say? All right, it's a zebra turkey fish. No big deal here. Caught that one a million times. Oh, sh no. The fishing rod broke. That stinks. I just started. Well, I think I have enough to make another fishing rod. I guess we're going to have to go back and craft it. Actually, I can, I can just go to my wife's house. I didn't see that bug. Dude, I'm not seeing these new bugs. This stinks. All right, I go to my wife's house. My wife has the crafting table right in her yard. And I can just use that. There it is. Okay, let's craft. The flimsy fishing rod. Yeah. It what's this? 3,000 bells. Thank you, Gary. That's not so bad. I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get it tonight and then do some diving. Check out the new mechanic. I think it'll, it'll be doable. Okay. Alright, so I got the full on fishing rod, Doctor. Not the full one. Uh, <laughs> You know says buy it before the store closes? The store doesn't close when I play. The store closes at 10 p.m. And uh, I'm only playing till like 9.15, 9.30 anyway. So there's no chance that I can miss out on buying it. Not since Gaming Live just did a 500 bit cheer for each year of the night. And he says, how's cats been? How's, how's cats been? I can't even speak. How's cat been? She's been all right. You know, kind of, it's kind of stressful because during the pandemic and the lockdown, she had one of the busiest places to work. And... Because of that, you know, really did stress her out a lot. Now it's starting to get a little bit better because now things are opening up everywhere else again. So her store isn't like insanely packed wall to wall with people anymore, um, which is a great thing. And now that things are open again and we're able to actually go out and do stuff on our day out, it's a lot more relaxing when we have a day off. So I think she's like she's feeling a little bit better now. She was pretty stressed out, no lie, during the whole lockdown and everything. Like, and I can definitely understand why. All right, I got the DIY recipe for the purple hyacinth crown. All right, well, I, I'm i going to be very thirsty here if I don't fill my water up. So I think I'm going to actually go try to fill my water up after I catch a, a fish here. Do I hear a balloon? I think I do. What? No. There we go. What's that? That is a tilapia? Yeah. Caught that one a million times. Where's this balloon I'm hearing? Right above me. That thing's gonna go right in the water. Well, at least I called it. I knew it was going in the water. 
Anyone still shooting firecrackers? I didn't hear any today. I've heard a few on and off in the last couple of days. And then last night, of course, were the official fireworks. And they did do official fireworks here that were quite loud. They start at 10, and then what it is is like there's three or four towns around here that do it. One did it at 10, one did it at 11, and one did it at midnight. So literally there were fireworks going off for like three to four straight hours. Poor Jasper didn't know what in the hell was going on. His eyes were like wide and alert all night, and I was like, just relax. I know it can be annoying. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, poor kitty not knowing what's going on. Look at this, I'm gonna steal Princess Cat. If Prince is trying to catch a fish, I said, nah, it's mine. That's my fish. What is this? A new fish. A sweet fish. Hopefully it's not artificially sweet. A sweet fish. What in the hell is a sweet fish? It sounds like, oh, you touched my sweet roll. You're playing Skyrim. Oh, did someone steal your sweet roll? Did someone catch your sweet fish? <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, Dirk says Canada Day had people uh, doing fireworks there. Canada Day was just a couple days ago, right? I saw people post it on social media, although admittedly I don't know what it is because I'm an ignorant American. I'm an ignorant American. I only have knowledge of things that are two, two inches in front of my face. If it's any further away than that, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's my general level of intelligence. Oh, that looks new. Oh, it's a koi. Never mind. I don't know why it's so shy. We're such a bad speller. Get it? Koi. C-O-I. I see. Spawn killer just to me $4.20. Is one of my co-workers got flipped off because he told him you have to wear a mask before you enter the store. People are brainless. Dude, we have an edict that goes into effect by the governor this coming Tuesday. That you have to wear a, a mask in every store or basically the store could be fine. Now, here's my question. How does the store enforce it? Most stores don't have paid security. A worker at a store cannot touch you legally or else that's assault. So let's say someone comes into your store without a mask. Sir, you gotta leave. Fuck you, I'm going into your store, I don't care. Now you're legally can be fined for that because someone came into your store without a mask, you can't make them. It's just, it's really dumb the whole way the country is going about doing this. I agree everyone should be wearing a mask, one million percent. But how do you enforce it is the question. Why is no one will talk about that? You call the police. All right, do you really think the police are going to show up because you called and said someone's in my store without a mask? No. In fact, all the police forces out here have already posted up on social media publicly and said, we have real crimes to solve. We have, we're not going to be enforcing this. So there you go. Crabcock cheered. He said, good evening. What was for dinner? It wasn't made of turkey. It was not made of turkey. It was made of tuna. For it was a tuna casserole that my wife made. It was very delicious. Okay. Young Kaba just here said, this is the Animal Crossing game you speak of. How are you go doing? Is it a fishy mini game? Yes, this is fishing. It's one of the many activities that you do in Animal Crossing. And there are new fish to be caught. So I will be doing some fishing. I'm also going to be looking for new bugs. And once I can buy the wetsuit, I'll be diving. But I need to be able to buy the wetsuit, which I can't do right now until I have the money to do it. <laughs> A horse mackerel. Yes, he Draken Man is exact. He says yeah, the health department had an edict where he is too, but who's gonna enforce it? Right? Do you are you aware of the health police? You ever see those people that come to your store to make sure you're being healthy? They don't exist in the United States. Maybe somewhere else in the world they do. Maybe somewhere else in the world your police force would actually enforce something like this. Ours literally came out and posted on Twitter saying. There's no way we can enforce that. We're too busy actually stopping real crimes. If the governor is serious about this, maybe he should figure out how he actually wants to enforce because there's no way the police could do it. So it's a joke. Make an edict about something. Pretend like you're going to threaten the stores, but give the stores absolutely no authority to do anything and have no one who will actually show up to enforce it. So what's the fucking point? I don't get it. So young Kavich here again, and he said, Hello, only iced coffee. <laughs> Thank you for the cheer. Fly goes fly every summer. 38 months. 
He says, when you retrospective the other night, you got me remembering watching your playthroughs live on YouTube as you were uploading them from before you were streaming. That's right. Hard to decide whether to watch the 240p version or wait a bit and the quality would process and become the 720p version. That's right. That's what used to happen on YouTube. The video would go live right away, the low quality, or you could wait like an hour and then the HD version would come out. And then people would be like so dying to watch my newest playthrough. Oh my god, this game just came out. Phil's putting out like five hours of footage. They would be like watching the low quality footage first, then go back and watch it again when it was HD. Those were different times, and those were fun times for sure. So Fly goes Fly, thank you for the reso. Thank you for the very long standing support. I appreciate that. Old McLeod just cheers to King Michael wants to know if you had dessert tonight. And if so, what? No dessert tonight. No. I eat shit tipped a dollar to let me know that he farted. Well, that's very interesting information. I'm glad you shared that with the world. Uh, I actually farted a, a many times here tonight, but they're all silent, so you guys wouldn't know. And you can't smell it because you're on the other side of the internet, so consider yourselves lucky. There you go. DSP and Wings Cheers said, if you and Wings at LTG make a lot of money together doing a co-op stream, it's a wasted opportunity not being open to co-op with them. Uh, LTG does not want to co-op with anyone. I actually asked him two years ago if he would want to do some content with the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, and he absolutely refused. Um, and I would never do co-op with Wings whatsoever. <laughs> Sorry, it wouldn't. Another zebrafish. Well, that familiar sound can only mean that an hour has passed. It's probably 8 p.m. now. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be playing till about 9:30 because I started late tonight. So I'll probably play till around 9:30 tonight. Here we go. It started raining. Oh come on, really? A stupid old tire. I don't want an old tire, man. All these new fish that showed up, I'm ca still catching tires. Okay. Okay. There we go. A squid. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see here. I kill Phil Chase and you're right, it's a joke. How the hell are you gonna find businesses that they forced to shut down for four months? Right. Oh, you've shut down for four months. Now we're, you have to tell people not to come into your store if they don't have a mask. By the way, you're not able to touch them to enforce it. And if you call police, they won't show up. But you're legally responsible and we'll fine you. Fuck off. The governor's a fucking idiot. Young Cavachiri said, oh my god, I didn't hear correctly. Did you say you farted and you wanted to share with the world? Thank you. Yes, I fart all the time. Just that you can't... You can't hear the farts. The burps you can hear. The farts you can't. So you miss out on the fun. Yo, Fly Eagles Fly did 100 bit cheer and he says, I remember sometimes parts render quicker than others as well. They would come through the wrong order. That still happens to this day. That's still, when I'm uploading a playthrough, that always happens. YouTube will process one part faster than another and they'll show up in the wrong order, especially for those who are subs of my channel. It'll show the whole playthrough in the wrong order and people yell at me for it. I'm like, what do you want me to do? That's on YouTube to process stuff. And it still doesn't do it properly to this day. <laughs> Another barred knife jaw. Not very exciting. Alright. Uh huh. Leave it right in front of him. I won't. Oh my god, now I won't take it. Come on, now he's got to see it. There we go. I hope it's something good. Oh, it's one of those olive flounders. It's not great. It's big, but it doesn't really sell for much. Darn it. Acknowledge you? Okay, that lean-in manual chill. Good evening. How you doing? Okay. Uh, Snakewood TV, I'm, I'm fairly... Ah, another bug! I didn't see it. Stick with TV, I'm fairly sure no one on the street wants to talk about cat penises, so I think you should, uh, chill out with that before I have to, uh, take appropriate action. You're being gross. I've not done any swimming yet, Mr. Re Winky Face. I can't because I need to buy the wetsuit. And I haven't been able, I can't afford the wetsuit yet. I need to catch stuff to sell in order to afford the wetsuit, which is why I'm just doing some cursory fishing activities here as I start the, the, the session before I can really do the new stuff. 
You know, I'm not exactly sure it's going to be safe when he's diving from the water here. Whoa! Nice! A puffer fish! I thought it would be tougher fish. Dude, be careful. You get stuck with that, you're going to be poisoned. Look, it's pulsating as you hold it. Look at that. It goes... Whoop! Oh my god, that's awesome. Young Kava just cheers to winning the stream. Do you swim? I, I will be at some point. I gotta buy the wetsuit. I eat shit, tipped another dollar. DSP Wink says I missed his last cheer. I didn't miss it. You just cheered. He said, if you're not cool with someone, it's better to stay in your own streams and stay to yourself. It doesn't mean you hope that they fail. It's just better to be a part of them together. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't wish, let me make this clear. I do not wish anything negative towards Wings of Redemption at all. I don't know anything about the guy. I don't care about the guy. I never wanted to know anything about the guy. It was people on my content that would bring him up constantly, like in the streams and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're bringing up these memes I don't understand. Now, people have been bringing the guy up for like three straight years. So now I know like all these memes and shit about him just because people won't be quiet about him, right? That doesn't mean I don't like him. It just means I have no interest in, in being involved with the guy. I just want to do my own thing, okay? Ah, I fucked up now. See, here, here's the difference here. LTG is, plays a lot of fighting games. If we were to actually play like an old school fighting game like the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection and do a few sets of all the different games in it, that might actually be interesting because we have something in common. I have absolutely nothing in common with Wings of Redemption. I don't play the games he plays and shit, you know? Like, we're completely different kinds of content creators, so what the fuck would we do together? Nothing that I'd be interested in, that's for sure. Well, someone named I Eat Shit Too, uh, tip me a dollar thirty. Says I had COVID. I was tested negative. You mean you tested it? You didn't have it, but then you had it. Or are you saying that you had it and now you're tested negative? Anyway, then my dad was bad off. He didn't eat for almost two weeks. COVID messes you up. Yeah, the uh, it, it, this just happened. The Broadway performer, what's his name, Nick Cordero, just passed away. And he was in perfect health before he got COVID over three months ago. He was hospitalized. This is a guy who's been in major Broadway productions. And he just passed away. Age 41. He wasn't an old guy. He didn't have a ton of pre-existing conditions. He just couldn't. His body, for whatever reason, got it really bad. And for three months, he was suffering. And he just passed away. So, you know, that's really sad to hear that people are getting it and, you know, suffering really badly because of it. That's, that's terrible, man. I won't wish that upon anyone. Uh, I eat shit. What's all these people saying? I eat shit. I eat shit to me. A dollar says, do you think Wings would appreciate what you're doing? I don't care. I don't care about Wings. I don't care what he thinks. So you can stop talking about him now because this is not the Wings show and I'm not going to keep discussing this guy. I'm not going to play your stupid game. I mean, obviously, you guys are trying to get me to talk about him all night and it ain't going to happen. RBG fan cheer said, you both eat fast food. Will you do a DSP tries it with him? No, I'm not doing anything with Wings. And the next person to bring it up... We're just going to have mods instructed to ban everyone who mentions wings in my chat. No, we're not going to do that. But uh, I'm just going to ignore it. I'm going to ignore the stupidity and the nonsense. Oh! <laughs> All right. I am very thirsty. I think I'm going to take a quick a quick trip to my bathroom to fill up my uh, my thermos after I catch whatever this fish is here. A teasing fish. Hey, another horse mackerel. Okay. Give me guys, give me a second. I'm just gonna run next door here. I'm gonna fill up my uh, my thermos. Okay? I can only catch one more, then I'm gonna be selling a bunch. I'm gonna be going to the museum. So Some nice tap water. Mm. Oh. You know what the worst part about tap water is? 
When you take a sip and one of those random creatures that lives in the tap water gets stuck in your teeth, and you're like, oh man, now you gotta go get Flosh and try to get the fucker out. You know, it's really annoying. But anyway. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on here. Um, what is this? Oh, I forgot to open the message in the bottle. What did I get? A DIY recipe for a flat garden rock? I guess I'll learn it. Alright, I can catch two more fish, then we'll go to the museum and have these, uh, have these fossils, uh, investigated. We'll try to sell what I've caught. We'll see if I make 3,000 so I can buy the wetsuit and then we can do some diving, right? Uh... Yes, hey Phil, how did you know, hey Phil? Hey Phil took me a dollar and asked do I dip my thermos into the toilet to be more time efficient. How did you know that's what I do? I dip it right in there. I, spray, I love it when there's particles floating around in it too. It's really good. It's very delicious. Extra, extra, uh, roughage. Very good. All right, I'm not, anyone who's, who's tipping me with a disgusting name, I'm not even gonna read your name anymore. I'm just gonna say, someone with a really disgusting name said this. So, someone with a really disgusting name just tipped me a dollar thirty and said, yummy faucet water. And then King Michael took the dollar and said, doing, doing dwill tomorrow? The last of where you do now go, I'm wondering, easily agree by interacting within the water you're going, going to go on. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was not King Michael. Another disgusting name just to me, he said, why do you refill water in the bathroom? Do you drink the toilet water? So it's pretty obvious that there's a bunch of idiots sitting in someone else's chat right now who think that they're funny because they're all saying the same dumb shit at the same time because they're brainless fucking morons. So I'm just going to say thanks for the money, stupid, and continue on. Okay. I got two more fish to catch. Okay. Oh, come on. That's really stupid. I didn't want that. I wanted a fish. Give me a tin can. Young cows, are you talking about the toilet in the game? No, people are joking. I walked to my bathroom to get tap water out of the sink, and they're trying to—they're trying to say disgusting stuff like I drink out of the toilet. Because they're, they're fucking idiots. They don't want to have fun. They want to be morons. Okay. So first off, yes, I am a fan of Bruce Willis, King Michael. First off, let's go to the museum. Get these fossils assessed. Here we go. Plasma Man just to me ten dollars. Are you a fan of musicals? Hamilton is on Disney Plus now, and it was really good. Do you know I had no idea Hamilton was a musical? I didn't. I thought it was just like a Broadway play. I had no idea it was a musical until you just said that. Um, I'm a fan of old school musicals. Like, like for example, um, West Side Story. Okay, a Guys and Dolls. You know that kind of stuff. Those musicals are pretty good. Um, uh, uh, Fan of the Opera. Really good musical. Okay? I've seen a few of those in person, by the way, on Broadway. Um, but I have not been into any new musicals or anything like that for a million years. A million years. I haven't seen any of them. So, uh, No, I never saw Newsies. So thank you, Plasma Man, for the $10 tip. That will jump us now up to $41 in tips. So we're already over the one third mark for the night. I appreciate that very much. Now, let's see if these fossils are anything good. I've never seen the musical Cats, Young Cobbs. Never seen it. And I'm certainly not seeing that movie. Yeah. Oh, I have news. We confirmed sea creatures can be found off the shore. Yeah, here we go. So now he's going to accept the donations of sea creatures as well. Gotcha. All right. I wonder where they're going to stay in the, in the museum because the museum was already kind of full. So I wonder. All right, so let's assess some fossils. Uh, Derek, the news is all over Twitter. Right before I started streaming, the news hit that he had passed away, Nick Cordero. It's pretty sad, man. Like I said, he's been fighting with this thing for over three months. So people were following his his fight with, with the coronavirus very closely. Because he was, again, he was 41 years old and he was healthy before this happened. King Michael, I figured that was a troll idiot. That's why I didn't even, you know, re really understand what he said or care. 
All right, so let's see. Quite splendid. All right, he already has all these. That's good news. It means I can sell them, right? All right. Now, I wonder, is there anything that I can give him that's a, new, a first thing? Let's see. Let's make a donation. Oh, so these sweet fish he has not had yet, so we'll give one of the sweet fish and try to learn about it. Hootie hoo! It must be a sweet fish. My bad, you should some fascinating facts. Absolutely. Wonderful, I'd love nothing more. Sweet fish are the damp heralds of summer. These slippery fellows appear in numbers when it warms up. They hatch in a river, then swim to the ocean. Once mature, they return to the river where they're born. When they return, it depends on the river temperature, because if it's too cold, their fishing season will start later. Some even say summer can't start without sweet fish, despite the key role played by the Earth's actual tilt. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, you know. I was assured all donations are displayed in a timely manner. Alright, cool. Lobster Volva tipped the dollar thirty says I saw Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. I always loved that story. I saw it too. Amazing. I saw it when I was in high school. It was the music of the night. Sing for me, my angel of music. Okay. It's a good show. You should see it. Alright, we're done. <laughs> Blow up Mount Rushmore. Just tip me a dollar to Black Lives Matter. Alrighty then. Thanks for the dollar tip. Uh, what's going on here? Fossil assessment. I've had 102 fossils assessed, and that gets me a thousand nook miles. There you go. Alrighty then. Okay. Do, 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 do. Critterpedia. So there's the sweet fish. All right, the rest we can sell. Very good. Young Kava says, what's a nook, Phil? Oh, a nook in particular? Isn't it supposed to be like a cubby area or a small area where you can store things? Like, they call it, like I have a storage nook. Which is a, a, a walk. It's not a big room. It's like a little narrow, slender room where I can put stuff in in my house. I think that's what it means. Of course, now people will probably say, no, a nook has a formal name, like nooks and crannies. So the nook probably has a really formal uh, definition that I don't understand or something like that. And I'll, I'll be made fun of hilariously for the rest of my life. Oh. Yoink. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Ah. I'm having no luck with bugs tonight, at all. What's your favorite Bruce Willis movie? I would probably say either Fifth Element or Die Hard with a Vengeance. I think Die Hard with a Vengeance is my favorite Die Hard movie. Welcome to Nook's Cranny. All right, I gotta sell. I want to sell. Now, America the Beautiful to the dollar said all lives matter. I agree with that, too. Black, both Black Lives Matter and All Lives Matter. That is correct. But I'm not going to get into political shit tonight. So if you keep it up, I'm just going to ignore you. Thanks for the dollar tip. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Come on, big money and big prizes. Wow, almost 30,000 bells. That's a good haul right there, man. That's a pretty good haul. Now, can I buy the wetsuit? Oh, wait. That's right, I should have to find it. Does he have it? Does he have a wetsuit? That's new. An outdoorsy slingshot? That's brand new. That was never available before. Colorful shovel. Ah, the horizontally striped wetsuit. Let's buy it. Cool. Oh, pretty much swimming. 
I don't have any pointers on your form, just basically about getting into the water. First things first, you want to put on a suitable wetsuit like the Sword of Rock will strike one. Once you see you press A from, from the beach, whenever I rocks it, you'll hop in the water. Swim around, keep pressing A, and if you see a shadow, press Y to dive and check it out. Okay. Alright. Alright, yes, of course I'm buying the wetsuit. Yes. I said that's it for now. Okay. Wetsuit achieved. Now we can go diving. See you guys later. <laughs> Where are we going? King Michael likes the Pac-Man shirt. I like it too. I like the retro shirts and stuff that my wife gets me. And this is one of the ones she got me. I really like the stuff that she gets for me. She knows my style. She knows what I like. Alright. So here's what we're going to do. The Witsu and the Snorkel. Look at that. I guess I should take my hat off, right? All right, I'm ready to die. No, put it away. So how do I tell if there's something to, to look to, you know, to die for? Is there an indicator somewhere? I see no indication of anything. Do I just randomly die, or do I need to get an indicator that there's some reason to die? Yes, I've seen a chicken in real life, of course. Oh, over here? This is a moon jellyfish. Now to find a sun peanut butter fish. That's a really bad joke, and you probably shouldn't be holding a jellyfish with your bare hand, considering a lot of them are poisonous. You're an idiot right now. You can stop your heart. Okay, King Gokin, who probably isn't the real King Gokin because I don't think he's here tonight, took the dollar and said, What do you think of American Psycho? Was that your favorite? What was your favorite scene? Mine is the favorite one. It says, Don't just stare at it, eat it. My favorite scene is when Christian Bale is completely naked, running through the hallway with a chainsaw covered in blood. Very good scene. Kate just cheered. And here we go again. She says, all lives do matter. And now here we go. I'm not talking about that shit. This is not the real Kate, by the way, either. Someone is trying to impersonate regular stream chatters to say derailments. So, it is what it is. Okay.